Hello, to the internet, and welcome back to More Phoenix Wright. This is, um, quite the game. Yeah? Um, I think with that burned piece of paper, maybe we can talk to uh, Pearl. Ah. Uh, Wait, uh... Pearl or Iris? Pearl. Because she was trying to summon someone, right? Right. Unless you think we probably still don't have enough of that yet. Uh, I can go talk to Iris first. I mean, I just figured she only had the three, you know? So. Yeah, and we were almost fin done with unlocking it anyway. Right. We already went through this. Right, so the final one was that we had to prove that there's... Two of her. Two of her. Hmm. I don't know if necessarily... Yes, yes, we already went through this. But, and your testimony. Boom. Lights out bell. Mm -hmm. Spoken. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, 10 o'clock, two different places. Two of you. Impossibility. There's two. Now, okay. And now we present Dolly's sister. Or Iris' sister. Uh, it's not complete yet, it's just... What? Yeah, it, it didn't say Dolly, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. See? Uh, well, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay, well I gotta talk about Edward then. I could reload my save, but nah. I mean... It's not really worth it. Alright. Uh, present... Hey, Edworth, did you know that Iris has a twin sister? What? A, 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 a twin? You, you can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of, her, of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father, a jeweler, I think. A jeweler? Right. I... I just might who know who this twin sister of hers is. I had the feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case, six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant uh, died. You were talking about Terry Falls, right? You you know about that case? You're not the only one who knows something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked on one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Are we going to still have the high judge when we go back into court, or do you think I... we'll get back to the regular judge? I honestly don't know. Dolly and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. <sighs> hmm. They stole a jewel worth $2 million from, Jolly, from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. And five years after that... She murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Mm. Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. There we go. Yeah. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. So, so Phoenix does recognize that then. Yeah. So what was what was the that's not the doll yeah I knew. Whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> so after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? Well, her. Metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. Uh. Excuse me? Beg your pardon? 
What do you mean by Dolly Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty, thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. <laughs> Mia Fey! Mia Fey! Jesus. At the time, Dahlia... It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. Growls like Don Tigre. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. And her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed. Oh. Last month. Oh. Damn. She was sentenced to death. Which I guess makes sense. She did kill four people. Like I was saying, that 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 was a very Well then who the fuck Ah I don't know. Cause it can't, it can't, it can't Dolly can't be fucking uh, channeling what? Godot if Dolly is dead. Exactly. So I guess it put it blows a complete hole in that theory. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, it was just a batshit crazy theory anyway. But it was kind of fun. Yeah. But also, if Dolly is dead, then that means that in order for it to pull off this crazy bizarre thing of it being too apparent, somebody had to be channeling her. Yeah, and there was only two people who could have been Maya or Pearl. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's. Maybe that's why he <laughs> Phoenix didn't want Gumshoe to get it examined quite yet. Oh, no! <sighs> yeah. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead, and once someone is dead, there is no way to revive them. There's no way to revive the dead? Unless... Mm -hmm. Somehow, okay. some fucking way, okay. whatever process they use to save Godot, they use for Dahlia. But but Dahlia would be a convicted killer, while Godot would be just a victim of poisoning. I I don't know, man. I'm just saying. Yeah. Completely super fucking batshit insane. Yeah. But well, <laughs> that's yeah. kind of what we do here. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. It seems you're not aware of the other connection yet, Edworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, a spirit medium from a branch family of the Karain Channeling Technique. Did you say Karain Channeling Technique? Do you know something about it? Uh, oh, yes, I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called her in. A very famous spirit medium and the <clears throat> master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file, and you'll know. Of course. How could I forget? Edgeworth was a victim in that case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. And then, you'll see that the Korean channeling technique is real. I guess we can't do anything about it now. Can we even present, like... Hey, this is, uh, actually... Misty Fay. Another victim we know nothing about. Same as always. I hope you'll tell me if you know our, something about our mystery woman, right? I know that at least some of us know our ordinary visitor is a temple, but her true identity could have been the useful weapon for the defense. I can't give it away just like that. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. But he's no longer involved with this, but he's also the prosecutor who's going to be able to 
actually give us any information regarding the investigation, right? So uh, shouldn't we talk to him? I mean, one would think, but I don't uh, know. I'm sure Phoenix has his reason. Okay, now we gotta go through all this again. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if, if... If Dahlia is dead, then... Again, what if Iris... No, because we already disproved that she can't be lying about having psychic powers, because that would mean that she would know that she's guilty due to having channeled the person and therefore done plus, murder. Plus the fact that there are two of them, quote unquote, means that there had she can be one ch channeling Dahlia because they both look identical. Right. So they, there had to be two of them, one her, one Iris, one Dahlia. Dahlia, Dahlia. There we go. I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? Ah! That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne. A woman I know very well, all too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you, who was here at the temple the night of the murder, who was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But, but you just said yourself a second ago. My sister is dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo, a training ground of the Korean channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. That's a secret you've been trying to hide from me. Ah! She even has the fucking, like, upset thing, just like Dahlia, with the fucking giant wind blowing. Yeah. <sighs> I... I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted out at the inner temple, I knew. I knew that it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? And because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept that I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? Did she pose as Dahlia? I don't know. That, well, how'd that make her betray her, though? Because Dahlia was still found guilty. Uh, but that's... Uh, mm. You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. That's what started her down that twisted path. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she she lost her life. It's all because I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I I helped plan the whole thing. What? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father? That's awful. But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And... She didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. Revenge? Okay, revenge. What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw her mother away and sent her to hell. Her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many businesses and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, her mother was set to inherit all that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place, for power. But his plan backfired, because of our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as a master of Korean. How do you Misty Fay, Maya's mother? But before long, the celebrity of the Korean tradition hit rock bottom. Credibility, yes. 
The new master, Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. And after that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place, said it was a hick dive, and that he had no reason to stay there. And that's when you came here to Hazakura Temple? Yes. The one my father took after his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I... I had no place in his new family, you see. Oh. I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master seed stolen from her and being rejected by her own family, I've heard she's become very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it, goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dolly Hawthorne, poisoned the lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student, have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright. There's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. I suppose I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl's psych lock. Are you not going to tell Iris about her having, like, another sister? Okay. I don't think it's really that important. Yeah, probably not. There's enough going on as it is, you know? I Also, I don't think we necessarily should be the one to make that completely just laid bare. Like, oh yeah, by the way, that tiny little girl that, you know, you see running around, that's your sister. Yeah. Fair enough. Look at that. They really did make a fire right in the middle, right in front of the track. Oh, Mr. Nick? Ha, <laughs> you're too late, Nick. You came here for one of our potatoes. We've already polished them all off. <laughs> he, he takes the last potato and just bites into it like he would, like, a, like eating a raw apple. Right. <laughs> I think I pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out what Pearl is hiding. I'm gonna save hers. <laughs> uh oh. I don't like this. Yeah. Oh boy. Five. Huh. <sighs> yeah. She's only ten. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Dunham's room, reading a book together, correct? Yes. Oh, I was so happy when she invited me. But I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No. There was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried. I... I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. So Pearl's never went to Miss Dunham's room. Because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? She went to... I'm assuming the inner temple. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up for me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? The next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm gonna take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, I'll... you will tell me the whole truth? Okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and this... that is this. Maya? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was gonna guess. I... It's obvious you were so worried about what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Eh? You knew that the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was a special course. I said that for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite bravey considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you come one with, with those you channel. Wahaha. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya. Oh, oh, sorry. Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. 
then we're clear on what you said. Now that we're then, uh, then we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. Mm -hmm. oh, what time is it when you headed over to the Inner Temple? Um, it was probably around night thirty when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at ten. I wanted to get there before it started, but there was so much snow, and uh, so I didn't get there until after ten o'clock. Until after ten? How do you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. So you heard the lights out bell? The Hazakura Temple's bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I... I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it, that would be terrible. She's trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why are you so worried about hearing the bell? Huh? Oh, I... I think I know why. The reason you're so worried about the bell was because of this. Um... The weather? That wouldn't make sense, though, would it? No. Now I was thinking maybe because of Maya. Mm -hmm. Because it starts at 10. Uh, da da da. What does it say again? It doesn't say anything about a time. I, I can try the weather, I guess. No. Oh, oops. That's alright. Uh. Is it... Iris for some reason? Because she was afraid that maybe Iris would like... No. Alright, I should probably load my save. Yeah. Unfortunately, but yeah, I don't... Well, the only other option I can think of it might have been was, what, Sister Bikini? Maybe. Okay. Yes, yes. some instructions to follow that night, weren't you? Oh. Oh. I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Ah! Where did you... In the incinerator at the Inner Temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the Lights Out bell. I... I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. That doesn't bode well. Mm. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... No! As you can see, a large person has been burnt, but the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell... Oh, okay, that that's why. Yes. You must channel her spirit. Mm, Pearls channeled Dahlia, didn't she? <sighs> Which means Pearls is technically an accomplice to murder. If not, the murder herself, because it's her body. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? Uh, Taking into account the author of the note and the purpose for writing it, whose spirit were Pearls have trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was... 
It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? The, that was the name written on the letter. <laughs> Just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris, who sister, who became at the inner temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no. I've never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. What about the instructions and the letter I found, Pearls? Who wrote them? Um... Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you've never heard of. You must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. So here's my next question. Who wrote the set of instructions for you to follow? It had not been Elise, but why? Whoops. Uh, no? Uh, this is a person, you must have had a lot of faith. I, uh... I, I had a lot of faith in you, Mr. Nick. Oh, thanks. But, I don't think I can trust you anymore. Ouch. Pearls can be quite blunt when she wants to be. Uh, alright, so, someone to trust, no question asked. Can't many make candidates. Uh... Was it... Was it Iris? Or... Or... No, that doesn't make any sense. Was it Maya? Either Maya or maybe her own mother. Morgan? I... D <laughs> How? Is... I... How would she know that Dahlia is dead? It was Morgan. I... What? Pearls. I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea who these instructions meant. What these instructions meant, did you? But you followed them. I don't, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you... If I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Uh, uh... But how? How did she get... The, how did she get the letter to her daughter if she's in jail? I, I mean... I mean, I guess you can still write letters from jail, but who delivered it to her? Who... I... I don't know. Alright, girls, it's time you started telling me the truth. Mr. Nick, I... Why is she holding back from me? What it, why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a child. Huh? If you're trying to say I follow these instructions, I, I'd like to see some proof. What? Because I, I, I don't think you have any. Mm, she'd say anything rather than admit to carrying out these instructions. I guess I have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. Uh, I knew it. However, I do know that someone, whoever did it was a child. Huh? How do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought very carefully. I thought, I'm sure you thought you were very careful following instructions you've been given. But you misunderstood some of the words. In the the gravy. As opposed to... Because gravely roast. Yeah. Instead of gravy roast. Huh. Okay. It was you spotted gravy on the hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! What? Why would I do something like that? Do you remember what was written in that letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring her our vengeance into fruition. But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast, among others, right? Uh, how do you know that? Remember the conversation uh, that you had with Miss Dunham on the night of the murder? Really? I'd love to. I am, I'm not very good at reading. Uh, you were, at least, if you were rereading. I was? I thought you were. No, you were. <laughs> well then, perhaps you would like to practice reading with me. Um, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. 
It's so. Cute. I'm so glad I don't have to do all three of those fucking voices at once. Yeah. Also, I I think I just <sighs> realized what that meant. Pearls had the instructions before she even got there. She was asking Miss Elise to read her own death instructions to her. <laughs> oh yeah. Like 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 Pearls was literally handing Elise the instructions to kill her, and she didn't even realize it. She was just like, "How do you read this?" <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Hmm. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounded like gravy. Oh, sorry. Gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that last night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I, I really am useless. I couldn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked me. Such a simple thing, and I couldn't even do it right. Why would you listen to her, Pearls? You know, I know she's your mom, but you know what Without she did. Without question? Yeah. I mean, I... I we gotta ask for these in the next episode. Dude, I don't want to play this game anymore. We gotta, we gotta I know, finish it. I know, I know, but oh. I know. See you guys then. Bye.